Secretary of Europe, Freedom and Direct Democracy, Mr Farage. Do I feel like I'm attending a meeting of a religious sect here this morning? It's as if the global revolution of 2016, Brexit, Trump, the Italian rejection in the referendum has completely bypassed you. Uh, you can't face up to the fact that this bandwagon is going to roll across Europe in these elections in 2017. Uh, a lot of citizens now recognise this form of centralised government simply doesn't work whether it's the miseries inflicted upon a country like Greece by the euro, the unemployment caused by bad regulation, or the feeling that none of us are as safe in our cities because of the disastrous common asylum policy. But at the heart of it is a fundamental point. Mr Verhofstadt this morning said, the people want more Europe. They don't. The people want less Europe. And we see this again and again when people have referendums and they reject aspects of EU membership. But something more fundamental is going on out there. Yes, you can say they're lying, and I've no doubt that many of you here, when you hear what I'm about to say, will probably despise your own voters. Because just last week, Chatham House, the reputable group, published a massive survey from 10 European member states, and only 20 percent of people want immigration from Muslim countries to continue. Just 20 percent want us to keep on allowing people in from Muslim countries, which means your voters have a harder line position on this than Donald Trump or myself or frankly any party sitting in this parliament. And that is where we're going. Uh, and I simply cannot believe that you're blind to the fact that even Mrs Merkel has now made a U-turn and wants to send people back. Even Mr Schultz thinks that it's a good idea. Uh, the fact is, the European Union has no future at all in its current form, and I suspect you're in for as big a shock in 2017 as you were in 16.